Hi guys, I'm going for my uh, second, you know, jab of COVID-19 vaccination. And you doing by the first time? The day is here. So, having had the first one, uh, this is what I got for the first one. Yeah, I got the uh, vaccination card uh, telling me the date I had the first vaccine, and just about uh, 11 to 12 weeks after, which is today, I'm going for the second jab. And actually, it seems like I'm already running late. The time given me is 10 o'clock, and I have to be over uh, there. Everyone had one or two side effects. Every vaccine had effects. What you need to know is every medication has side effects. Even ordinary paracetamol has side effects. Every medication, even the food we eat, has side effects. So we need to bear that in mind. But since we, in some extraordinary circumstances, that people, you know, uh, get such uh, cases. So that is it. I'm heading for my second job, and uh, hopefully this time around I'll let you uh, have the uh, to have to share with you my experiences of the vaccine after the job. Yeah. So you guys follow me as I'm actually driving down towards the exit center. So I'm getting closer now to Excel. I'm just thinking which way is fast better for me to turn. I'm right here at the end and this is exit center right here. Um, I'm thinking which way to go to get in to the car park area. I think the best way is to follow through the uh, the uh, Connaught Bridge or stretch, but I should be there if the GB. This virus is going to keep changing as all viruses do, but it's whether of the immunity that we get from previous infection and whether we get from the vaccine works against it, and it looks like it does. So it may be of concern in the sense that it spreads very fast, but it doesn't look to be of similar concern, say, to the South African variant. Again, when we get home, only a few places are likely to be designated green, including maybe Portugal, Malta and Gibraltar. It's thought most will be amber, which means at least five days of self-isolation and two tests. Thousands of people living in Lambeth could be due some money back after they were overcharged for their water. It follows a test case in Kingston, where it was found the council hadn't passed on discounts from Thames Water. So not Good morning, London. I'm Robert Elms. So here we are at the exam centre. All I need to do is just to drive down towards the vaccination centre. Uh, like I showed you in my previous video, there is a car park which is free. I hope it's still the same free. So right here, I'm actually going to uh, find my way into the Excel vaccination center now. Uh, I think the direction is going this way. So I'm not taking anything for granted. I take my jacket with me just in case. If, I don't know. The feeling might be a little bit chilly or whatever. Morning for the second job vaccination. Here we are. Yes, another episode like I tell you guys. Right here. I'm already so. See how it goes now having the second job. We got people attending to us at the entrance. I mean, let me be in the hedge, I rush because I seem to be running out of time. Am I the right way? Am I taking the right way? Okay, well, I'm trying to follow the signal on the getting in there to create my second job. Key start from here, as you can see. Good morning. I'm here for the second job. Thank you very much, sir. Here is the information given in a booklet given to uh, anyone taking vaccination of COVID-19 and the information is from Public Health England uh, talking about the uh, COVID-19 vaccination in relation to blood clotting. Uh, the UK vaccination program has been very successful with more than 30 million people vaccinated and that says more than 6,000 lives already saved. So. Um, the information also further say that there has been reports of a very rare condition involving blood clots and unusual bleeding after vaccination. This is being carefully reviewed 
but the risk factor for this condition are not yet clear. Although this condition remains extremely rare, there appears to be a higher risk in people shortly after the first dose of AstraZeneca vaccine. Around four people developed this condition for a very million doses of AZ vaccine doses given. So that says the very minute, a uh, very minute number of people have had this incidence or case of blood clotting. This see, this is seen slightly more often in younger people and tends to occur between four days and two weeks following vaccination. This condition can also occur naturally and clothing problems are the common complication of COVID-19 infection and increased risk has not yet been seen after other COVID-19 vaccines but it's been carefully monitored. So this allays the fear about the uh, issues of any uh, side effect of it of the COVID-19 relating to uh, blood clotting. Here is the uh, information showing the lots of information that we need to know about the risk of the vaccination but the benefits are much more bigger than the risk volunteers and workers let's work us doing this working i mean helping us to making sure everything goes according to the plan I'm just so I've been asked to yeah, present my NHS booking reference number, which I have to look up checking from my mobile. Uh, have I have it done. Uh, NHS booking here later on. So the reference number I have here for my your second dose is confirmed as I'll give it to you three nine three four. Yes. So right here I got my definition sorted. I'll uh, give my NHS number uh, been sorted out for me. What are you doing? You're so I'm on the now. Thank you. Thank you for that. I've been giving me my NHS number, which I can keep for my reference as well. I can proceed for that, right? Thank you. So that's it. Hi, I'm here for the second job. So which part I have to go? You want to wait at the entrance to number two? They'll okay. pull you through when ready. Yeah, just on the line. All right. At the entrance, they'll pull you oh, through. that'll be good. Thank you very much. Let me just say hello to my boss. Hello, hello. sir. I'm here for the second hello. job. Hello, sir. <laughs> yes. Hello. How's it going, hello. sir? Not bad. Not so bad. you, yes. yeah, well done for your uh, uh, for your service. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> I'm happy Sorry. to see you, my boss, here again. So let me show you this guy. This place how it looks. The pods are there. Vaccination pods. For everybody to come in and have the vaccine done, and I'm waiting just right here on this spot here uh, to be called in to one of these spots here. So I'm waiting. I think I'm here now as a patient, so I have to be very patient. Should I come forward? Oh, I've been I've been asked to come forward for this. So here we are. I'm about to go in there now. Oh, don't be scared. Yeah, I know it's a general, it's very strong, so like, 
feel like you have something to do. So what we need to look at is pain, swelling, greatly swollen, just on the injection side. The injection side, there's a little bit of pain, just a side area. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Some people don't want to get a flu like this. Just generally feeling unwell, lethargic, Okay, so I'm just going to draw up the vaccine for you. Uh, Just take back to work, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like I should go back to work. I'm actually coming from work now. I'll see how, it, uh, how I feel when I get back to work. Mm -hmm. I think it's not stopping from getting back to work. Uh, unless if I feel. Your arm, okay? okay, I'm going to say that. Thank you. Right, relax. Find a sharp scratch. Thank you. That's fine, you're done. I feel a little bit. I feel it. Okay. We all have to take exactly the same precautions. Yeah, okay. Until everyone is vaccinated twice, we have to assume yeah. that we can still catch it. You can still pass it on. Mm -hmm. You can still catch it, you can still pass it on, mm -hmm. because it's not 100% effective, and yeah. well, even though it protects you from the symptoms yeah. really well, you can still pass right. it on. So we continue with our precautions yeah. like uh, social distancing, yeah, unless so. if national yeah. guidelines <laughs> it changes. Family, colleagues, classmates, and anyone else you come into contact with, even strangers, could be put in danger if you turn down the vaccine. It's not just a decision that affects you. It's okay to have questions about the COVID vaccine. That's normal. It's good to talk about them though with your doctor or community leaders or even friends and family you trust who have received the vaccine already. Vaccines have been tested rigorously and they've been found to be safe and to prevent people from developing symptoms and getting seriously ill with COVID-19. But now, but now we're starting to see research which suggests that the vaccine can prevent people from spreading the virus too. You're vaccinated, your friends and colleagues are vaccinated, that will substantially reduce the risk of COVID. That makes sense. If you're not coughing or sneezing, then it's harder to pass the virus on. If we spread less COVID-19, fewer people get sick and the pandemic will be over sooner. So the current thinking is, if you choose to get the vaccine, you're choosing to look after yourself and everyone you come into contact with. If you don't, then you and those people won't have that protection. The scientists say they need to get Oh, and I got a sticker. Can I stick it somewhere? Okay. Yeah, there I you got go. a sticker. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much for Thank that. Bye bye. Cheers. So, I've just been given the second dose, and uh, obviously, uh, like the procedure says, I have to stay here for a little time, maybe to relax if there's any reaction if I go on driving. If it turns out the vaccine doesn't stop you from spreading the virus, then it's even more important that everyone gets their shots. There is only one victor in a world where a vaccine haves and vaccine have not. The virus itself. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <I'm laughs> so as I've been experiencing this, I'm trying to, you know, making sure we enlighten ourselves about this. Yeah. So I had my second job done, and with a lot of information, as you can hear from the background, information from the nurses, uh, you know, and they're asking you about this questionnaire, about how you feel before coming, how was my reaction for the first job, and things like that, and how do I feel going ahead to have a second job. You see. Then after that, I've had it done, I just have to fill the um, first questionnaire, which also part of precaution. And I'm sitting in the sitting area here, just for a little time before going out there, especially if you have to drive. Okay, some of the signage on the wall, everywhere, about COVID-19 vaccine. Whoops! 
and you have exciting nice stuff around as well epping as you can see so i've had my jobs and i'm actually stepping out of the uh, exit now thank you for your time thank you so much I i've done the uh, head question here yeah? actually i've done it again so have a nice day at work so that's how it is we actually i'm going out now going out this way so here we are after having the glass thing heading out car park this way so what's going on there like people are scanning them, the security checks, scanning people before they get into that. Maybe I should also go in there and find out what's going on here. You guy. So those guys, they actually, that's uh, um, the counting center after the election that was held yesterday. And, um, I think officers are officials are working to get us the results which will come out soon. Yeah. So going back to the car park here. So I'm exiting now. Yeah. Exit those and to car park here. I hope I got to this place. For the jabs. Before the jabs. <laughs> anyway, good time here. So guys, um, that's how it goes at the exit center as the uh, when I actually went for my COVID-19 vaccine, uh, the second jab. And um, I don't want to make this video very long, but stay tuned in the next vlog. I'm going to give you the reactions and uh, if there is any about like common uh, people are actually be commonly you know. Um, uh, telling us about how they feel after taking the jab. This is now a second dose, fully vaccinated, I would say. And you see as comments are all over the place, like even though despite you have the vaccine done, you still have to uh, kind of like, it's not only guarantee that you can catch this, uh, uh, or you can pass it, uh, uh, you know, uh, virus to other people. So, but it's actually not a measure that actually I've uh, been working to keep people safe. We well, have see the number of uh, you know uh, deaths uh, greatly reduced and the infection rate greatly reduced, especially in England and in UK generally, due to the massive you know immunization that's been conducted. Well, I if there is any, I'll let you see in the next vlog if there are any effects or we talk about this. If you have any comments about this. Please let me know if you want anything different that you want me to explain or you want us to uh, to show you in this video. Please kindly leave the comment below this, you know, and then please share this video and let's continue to roll together. I have continued to give you more uh, travel, exciting places and lots more informat informative uh, video content on this vlog. Cheers, guys. Thank you for your time today for watching this video. Cheers. I'll catch you up in the next one. Cheers.